The Western world has seen a surge of no-platformings, cancelings, and even violence being perpetrated against academics who dissent from the orthodoxy prevailing at the very institutions tasked with fostering free and open inquiry, our universities. But this is merely the tip of the iceberg of the suffocating self-censorship and conformity under which our academic institutions are suffering. My study is the first of its kind to investigate censorship and political discrimination in academia, comprehensively capturing the size, scope and nature of hard and soft authoritarianism on campus. Perhaps most importantly, it reveals that high-profile deplatformings and dismissals are symptoms of a deeper and more widespread assault on academic freedom, intellectual diversity and intellectual honesty bubbling beneath the surface. It's critical to quantify the extent of bias on campuses to move beyond anecdotes. Only 5% of American scholars in the social sciences and humanities identify as conservatives. Academics on the left outnumber those on the right by a ratio of 14 to 1. A staggering one in three conservative academics and graduate students have been disciplined or threatened with disciplinary action. Young academics are only half as tolerant as older academics. American PhD students are even more pro-cancellation than young American academics. By and large, most right-leaning academics feel a hostile environment or self-censor in some form or another. Certain forms of political discrimination are experienced by a majority of political minorities on the faculty. Surveys of perpetrators bear out this reality. 40% of American academics wouldn't hire a Trump supporter for a job. A majority of 60 to 70% of academics would not be comfortable sitting next to a Trump supporter or a gender critical academic. Graduate students are even worse. Over 80% of American PhDs are willing to discriminate against right-leaning scholars on at least one dimension of hiring and refereeing, for example. Those with dissenting views suffer from discrimination in terms of hiring, promotion, grant applications, publishing, the allocation of teaching and research tasks, workplace civility, and social inclusion or are concealing their private views to survive under an ivory tower authoritarian regime. The threat of punishment and discrimination forces those with conservative or otherwise non-conforming views to self-censor or face damage to their careers, along with a social ostracism that reduces their quality of workplace life. We see an iceberg effect where the most extreme but rare cases of illiberalism make the news. But lurking beneath the surface is a much larger loss of freedom, which affects the majority of people with minority views, including many moderates. The academy has become one of the most illiberal, regressive places in the country, and it threatens to become even more so if the younger cohort does not undergo a dramatic ideological shift towards prioritizing academic freedom over social justice as it matures. This chilly climate keeps dissenters from embarking on an academic career, reducing viewpoint diversity, and reproducing a left-wing monoculture which is increasingly divorced from the mainstream of society. We all lose when entire areas of inquiry are ignored because they are not of interest to progressives, and uncomfortable answers to pressing questions are suppressed. The conversations that might help heal societal divides and restore trust in elite institutions can't take place.